I'm not saying this because it's February. I'm just saying because the product is so doggone good. Yes. Let's get into the empties. Yes. Hey friends. Hey family. Men day. It is your girl, Melissa Q. Welcome back for another video. And today we are going through our empties. Yes, this is the infamous empties here on my channel. You guys love it. I love giving it to you. Yes. <laughs> Y'all know we got a goal. Okay, so we always do a goal, a yearly goal of how many empties we want to get through. I include skincare, body care, hair care, makeup, the whole nine. Food empties I don't include, but this year we're going for 350. Now last year we did over 300 empties. I'm so excited. Thank you so much for tuning in. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Starting off with some body care. This is the Dial Coconut Water Hydrating Body Wash. I really like this. This was like maybe six bucks from Target. I did put a poll about where you guys shop for your hair care products and you guys said Target. So I'm definitely coming with a shop with me from Target and like my favorites from Target in terms of hair care and all that good stuff. But I got this from Target. That just made me think about it. You know what I mean? Um, 32 ounces. It's really good. It comes with moisturizers and uh, my sister loves Dial. So I wanted to give Dial a shot. Now I will say this about Dial. I like it better than Olay in terms of body care. Um, this phones up really well. Oh, I got it in my hair or something. I liked it. I would repurchase it again. Cause so we gon' floss it. Y'all know what we gonna do. Toss and floss it. If you're new, you don't know about that. But if we floss, that means we keep buying. If we toss, that means it's out of here. So yeah, we're gonna floss this one too. It's the Nivea Moisturizing Body Wash Care in Hibiscus. This has almond oil. I really like the Nivea lined lined <laughs> I like the Nivea line this is definitely a floss for me it smells so good and um, I really like it y'all finally finally got through this purity made simple from philosophy this is a one-step facial cleanser I really do enjoy this I would definitely floss this and repurchase it but your girl is on a no buy so I do have some things that I can get through I just switched it out for the pure pearlies Pearly's has a like a milky cleanser. I can't wait to try that one. But this is totally gone. This was the big kahuna. This is the 32 ounce. Um, it would take you a while to get through this. I like it. A little bit goes a long way. And purity. I really do like this. I would repurchase it. But I won't be repurchasing it in the near future. Okay. So another body wash. This is the Soothe and Soften Shea Butter and Oatmeal from Up and Up by Target. Yes, we love us some Target. You know what I'm saying? So this one I would re definitely repurchase because this one is specifically for my boys. Um, they do have eczema and so this shea butter and the oatmeal soothes their skin and it's really soft. It's not harsh on the skin and so I would repurchase that. It's better than the St. Ives. I have another one. I like it better because I don't know. I think the St. Ives is a little bit more it's stronger so this one is like a mild soap really really like it and i feel like that body gels or body washes are more gentle than soaps soaps can be very drying so that one is definitely uh, a floss this one is from kirkland's this is my daily facial towelettes i love this these are paraben free love it these are pre-moistened i have another one open you get it in a box for like ten dollars but you get so many of these definitely a repurchase i am getting through some micellar waters um in my no buy and this is where i am and um yeah i won't be repurchasing these soon i'm gonna try really hard i do have like i think two more packs to get through of these so it's definitely a floss this is really good they're juicy too they're juicy wipes okay i know sometimes they can dry out those do not dry out on you this is the l'oreal everfresh micro exfoliating scrub this is for your hair i absolutely love this and uh that's a spoiler because i am coming with a review it's so good um it's like a scrub it's like a hair scrub it's comparable to that expensive mm expensive briogeo one um i do plan on using and trying that and giving you guys my thoughts Tage versus <laughs> okay expensive okay um this one um i really did enjoy but i will come with a full review on this because i have another one but i like this a lot oh and this is vegan y'all l'oreal came with a vegan product so 
I love this. This is the Maui Moisture Heal and Hydrate Shea Butter Raw Oil. Raw Oil. I love this. It was really good and it's for dry damaged hair as coconut uh, oil, macadamia oil, and shea butter. Now, if you don't like coconut oil, don't recommend this. But if you have the love for coconut oil like my hair does, you will absolutely love this. I really like it and um, I love the spout. Um, that it came in and I just like this line. I do have a full review of the deep conditioner and the raw oil on my channel. So if I can remember, I'll link it down below. But if you can, you can definitely go on my channel and search and just put in Maui Moisture. It'll pop up. I got a lot of hair care stuff in here. And I don't know if I told y'all that this is for January and February, okay? This is the Sunny Isle Lavender Jamaican Black Castor Oil. My hair loves coconut oil and Jamaican black castor oil. I absolutely love this. Um, it took me a while to get through this, but I love to mix this. I can use castor oil by my by itself, especially in the winter months, but I love to make I love to make a cocktail. Comment down below and let me know if you want to see that cocktail of how I'm, I mix my oils because I love me a good oil in this high porosity dry hair, okay? But I love that. The Derma E Hydrating Cleanser. This is hyaluronic acid cleanser yes it is so good well it was so good but i really like it it was not stripping to the skin if you have dry skin but you need a good foam if you like a foam with your cleanser this is a good one to pick up and dharma e you can pick it up from the drugstore but this is their hydrating line they have quite a few lines so make sure you get the one with the blue top and that is the hydrating one but i really do and um i really did enjoy this because it's gone and um I really like it. Okay, another hair product. This is the Tresemme uh, Heat Tamer Spray. It minimizes heat damage. And I really, really like this product. It's one of my favorite heat tamers from the drugstore. There are some other ones. I will come with some products because I definitely want to talk about like heat and natural hair. And especially if you have high porosity hair, you really have to be careful because our hair is already fragile. There is already highly porous. And to break it down even further, you want to make sure that you don't get heat damage because our hair can get heat damage very, very, very easily because the hair follicle is already pretty much broken down. But I love this and um, it's gone. So yeah, this is the pate de lisse delicious paste basically i don't know maybe this was in french i think so this is a body scrub i don't know i think an oil wasted on this but absolutely love this this is something that i definitely would repurchase but not as often as a daily scrub this is like my self-care i want to put you know she she foo foo on it i want to have my burke williams my glenn ivy i want to have a spa at home day i'm going to use something like this absolutely love this it smells amazing i feel like loxiton has the best almond scent in the nation okay that's how much i love it and i would repurchase that oh i would purchase i would purchase that because that one i have the oil i've used the body wash but the paste was sent to me really do like it a lot this is the Dr. Jart Su uh, Sun Fluid SPF 30. Love this. This was really, really lovely on my skin. It was one of my favorite SPFs. I used it today and this one is a really, really lovely one. Um, probably one of my favorites because it didn't smell like it doesn't have that scent. And it was a gel. And I love that it was a spout, you know, ain't nothing else in there, but... I really like this. I'm going to look into this. When you find a good SPF, stick to it because some of them have the film. Some of them smell too SPF-ish. And so um, this one was a really, really nice one. So at least I can make that mental note here on the camera that that one was a really good one. Okay. This is the L'Occitane. This is their delicious. No, this is the Beautiful Body Balm. This is it was so lovely this was so good too and it is completely gone i love that it's a twist top um and it comes in a tin so lovely these look really great on your vanity and that's why i would repurchase these especially if you have your body products out on the table or out like visually where you want to see it this is really nice but they have the best scent in terms of a vanilla scent. If you want a nice vanilla scent that smells beautiful, whenever I put this on, 
Forrest always gives me compliments about how lovely I, I smell because it, it's very it's fragrant but not overpowering this is definitely something that you could wear and I feel like any perfume you put on would this would pick it up and enhance the scent so I hope I made this I hope I made sense with that I do have a self-care video I want to say last March I did and I use those products if you want to check it out and see how I use it because I do love layering products. This is another body product that I really enjoyed. This is from Corez. This is their Guava Body Butter. It smells so amazing. Y'all see, I like to the last drop. I almost was tempted to cut this open, okay? But I feel like I have a little gauge, a little thing that you put on here and it squeezes every last drop out of here and there is nothing else in here. Um, I really did enjoy this. I definitely would repurchase this. It's not sticky. It's a really nice scent. I really enjoyed this. This is probably one of the best body butters in a tube. I love that it's in a tube too because it would make it easier to travel. Really love this. Y'all, this is disgusting, but we're going to hurry up and show them. Okay, these are two beauty blenders so or beauty sponges. This one is from... Help me out. <laughs> this one is from Eco Tools. okay? This one was a generic one. Um, I got it from, I think, a beauty... I think this one... I can't remember. But anyway, these are two gone, so I'm considering those done. This is from a brand called... First touchdown, age tamer. This is so good. The touchdown, first touchdown, edge tamer. So good. Um, I have two more of these. A brand sent me this and I was like, I don't even know what this is. But this edge tamer snatched my edges. Okay, this is probably one of the best edge tamers that I have ever, ever, ever tried. And I'm going to use up the other two. But if you know where this is, yeah, can y'all tell me? Help us sister out. Um, when I emailed them, they told me I could get this from the drugstore. Not the drugstore, from a beauty supply store. So if you know, first touchdown edge tamer. This is how it looks. It's non-flaking and it tames frizz. Totally true. So if you know about this, let me let a girl know. Okay. Um, LA Girl Pro Conceal. I did not like this because a lot of the juice squeezes out of here instead of the pigment and it gets everywhere so it's not that the product isn't good it's like even after i mix it it separates and the juice like comes out y'all know how like when you open up some mustard and you like don't shake it sometimes the juice uh like the water comes out and not the actual product ill you know what i mean that's why i won't um get that again but uh it's a really good product i just it just does that to me all the time. This is from Hemp's. This is their pure herbal extract. Pineapple, sweet pineapple, and honey melon body moisturizer. I really like hemp. Um, I like this a lot. Um, the scent I really like for the spring and summer, not necessarily for the fall and winter. So I need something that's year round. Just because when I go through this, I like to switch up my body scents. If you are with me, let me know down in the comments. But let me know if you guys like hemp too and what scents I should try from there. You know. I was going to say flavors. What scents should I try from that brand? Um, I have some skincare in here. This is the Kim Tai O for Wonderlush. This is discontinued. Um, I know there's some drama that happened behind this. It is a good product. Okay. I don't care. It's discontinued, unfortunately. But um, Ofra, what's up? You making moisturizers still? Okay. Holla at a girl because a girl likes skincare, but I really like this. This was a mix. Before there was the Smashbox Primerizer, there was a Kim Tai Wanderlush. This is like basically primerizer in a jar, okay? it's It was really good. So I wonder if they're still making it. If they are, I would definitely repurchase it. If not, we gonna move on and stick to the primerizer. I'm just saying. Um, the great thing about the primerizer is that it's in a bottle. It has a pump. That one's in a jar, a little bit messy. You can't take it with you like you want to. So yeah, Ofra, take the notes. You need to like put it in a bottle. That stuff is good though. Total Temptation by Maybelline. I love this mascara. I have another one of this. Um, I already had it before the no buy, but I absolutely love this. And uh, so it's amazing. You can fit, find some really good mascaras from the drugstore. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I oppose that title. I don't know the uh, Better Than Sex Mascara. Okay. Okay, do fat. 
okay but i really do like this mascara it's more on the dry side i think that's why i like it because it already comes like dry and most of the time i have to open up the tube and then close it again and let it wait for a couple of weeks before i go into mascara because it's so wet and um that one already comes dry so i really like it i love the wand it's probably one of my favorite but when it dries out y'all watch out because that stuff will flake and i get two like raccoon circles right under my eyes so la roche pose this is their hydrating gentle cleanser i really do like this and um i would consider per repurchasing that if um i wasn't on a no buy yes this is the pixie glow tonic one of my favorites i actually have the pads right now absolutely love this um i actually have another one of these otherwise um you can use these for travel and refill them i love this so much as a matter of fact i need to make sure that i do have another one i think i have another one okay i'll throw this away but i like that this is the hydra gel lift i went through this this is a skincare product and um you take it and you put it under your eyes um i really really enjoyed this and um it's so nice it really hydrates under the eyes and it gets rid of the puffiness and i definitely will pick one of these up again this is actually the last the last one this is the darcy botanicals i want to cry okay because this product was so good um i use this in my son's hairs my son's hair not son's hairs i use this in my son's hair this is a sweet cocoa bean curl smoothing cream this was a great transitioning product when my hair when i was transitioning because i was too chicken to just big chop you know when i when i got my golden ovaries though i did big chop y'all but oh a girl was i was a sucker before okay but this is a great transitioning product and i'm so sad um but don't fear y'all the curl friend smoothie by s dot beauty if you know anything about me y'all know that was one of that is one of my top favorite leave-in i mean it is so good and we're to, in february y'all and it's uh, black owned i love it and they are so professional stephanie over there is amazing shout out to your girl <sighs> in february yes i'm not saying this because it's february i'm just saying because the product is so doggone good yes but anyway if you loved this head on over to s dot beauty and get the curl friend smoothie i promise you you will not be disappointed so yeah love it okay guys those are my empties i hope you enjoyed this video I will leave the total down below as always. At the end of the year, we will go through these. I am going to separate. I'm going to include my makeup, but at the end of the year, I am going to separate just so um, I'm doing a no by you guys in terms of my hair care. Not my hair care. Ooh, I got a budget for my hair care, but my skin care and my makeup. I am currently on a no buy. I have not bought anything for January and february so far you guys um january was a swap out if you want to check out my no buy i do have a second channel missy q memoirs and check me out on snapchat and on twitter i'm more on instagram stories you guys and there are stories here on youtube so don't forget to check those out but until then i will talk to you guys in the next video bye loveys <laughs>